Check for that steal and that block rating, man. That'll determine how you supposed to play. Once I see somebody with that 91, I'm on the run. You feel me? I, th I don't think people know that's the name of the game. Avoid the steal. I see that 91. I'm on the run. You feel me? This game could be very, very, very fun without the steals the way that they are. Yeah, three point percentage, steals, and blocks. I want to say one more thing. I'll say those are the top three. But three point, again, I don't believe three point percentage means anything because. You don't know if that's their first build or not. You know, casuals messed it up to where we could see people's record and things like that. I, you know, you have to look back at all the 2Ks and realize how much casuals messed up, bro. Bro, I used to like having my record show at the beginning of a game, bro. Other people, you know, it wasn't even casuals that, it wasn't casuals fault. And I actually got a rephrase on that. The YouTubers ruined the, the game. Honestly, at the end of the day, I have to take it back. It's 50-50. It's, it's casuals and YouTubers that ruin this game. And no, I do not throw myself in the category as, as part of being YouTubers that ruin this game. Because I could go down the list of things. Because we could, we could most definitely start which where it all started 2k 17 and this is one thing i will admit to but i wasn't heavy on it though i i bro some bro, you'd be mad at you'd be mad at some of these youtubers now if you knew which youtubers was actually advocating so hard that 2k turns the park into some grand theft auto city type shit which we have now. Now I will say that, yeah, I, I, I agreed and was like, it'd be a cool addition, but I wasn't advocating for it. Like I wasn't even a top YouTuber at the time. You know what I'm saying? So just think about who was the top YouTubers at the time during 2K17. Those niggas is the reason why we have the city in the fucking game. You feel me? And so we can, it, it all starts there. You know what I'm saying? It all starts there. Reason why we can't see our records when the game start. YouTubers crying because casuals don't want to play them because they got a high rep. Like, bro, I like it. I like to see in my record and I like to see in other people's record because right then and there, I don't even know why YouTubers was crying about that just because they wasn't getting games. Okay, I get it, he wasn't getting games. But even them taking that away, people still not getting games. Bro, you being a comp player and being able to see your opponent's record, you should should have wanted to keep that, bro. You're able to know at the beginning of the game, seeing somebody's record, if they good or not. You know what I'm saying? Now you can't, you can't tell, and then and in like 2k 19 and 20 you know even 17 and 18 you know why people miss those 2ks because they were balanced as in a sense as in like when you played against a, a lineup on 17 through 20 you knew which you knew what which archetype did you know so you play against a playmaker shot creator and a and a um what would you i forgot what the build names was on 2k20 let's say you play with play against me and play against a playmaker and a stretch you know that the stretch big doesn't have defense you feel me and then you know that i don't have a high shooting rating now in 2K, when you play against somebody, it's a good thing that 2K added it in before the game 
you're able to see people's ratings because 21 through 23, when you play against somebody, you don't know what what they're able to do, what their build is capable of because every build was able to do everything, bro. So you kind of got some of that back in this 2K, but it's still kind of that way where you don't know what somebody can do on their build unless you look at that, that graph in the beginning of the game. What spin I use? I'm using Kawhi Leonard, I think. But you get the everybody gets that same spin out of the triple threat. Everybody gets the same spin, I realize. And the only reason I started doing that triple threat spin is because people abuse it, bro. People abuse that it's the triple threat spin. It's it's so I'm a player of not exploiting bad animations, bro. I'll use them in certain moments. So like that triple threat spin. I'll use that like if I like if a if a motherfucker is really playing me tight on the inbound, I'll use it. Other than that, I don't. I won't use it. It's people that are spam it because if you if you pay attention, triple strike is a good badge, and people people are doing spins out of triple strike. They're doing hezies out of triple strike. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a, it's a triple threat is real good this year. I actually like how good triple threat is because the last time I actually used triple threat was 2K20. That was the last time it was good in my opinion. Yeah, rebound and win with the two way slasher playmaker, but you knew what they, you know the two way, you know the two way slasher playmaker couldn't shoot type shit, you know. All in all, this is a good game. They just, bro, they need to come to reality, bro. Steals need to get nerfed. And I don't want steals to get tanked. 5%, start off with a 5% nerf on steals. You know, because the game is, the game is cool. Like, look at that, bro. I can't even, yeah. So when I'm on this building, I only have 85 ball handling. Some steals I could agree with because 85 ball handling. I have a I have a six four with a with a ninety five ball handling, bro, and get ripped that same way, bro, which is BS to me. You know, attributes mean something, but for some for for certain attributes they don't mean nothing. Versus another attribute, so like ball handling versus steal, ball handling loses every time, bro, and that's that's an ill balance. It's illogical. To allow a 85 steal with a silver glove to steal the ball from somebody with a 95 ball handle and gold unpluckable. Hell, people with the small, small guards and Hall of Fame unpluckable is even getting plucked, bro. By silver glove. It's, it's illogical. And I don't know how 2K isn't even looking at it like that, you know? And so... Like I said, I, I explained why 2K didn't invite me to community day, which was my fault for some some Twitter altercation. But their reason for not inviting me to beta testing was they they said, mind you, I have Hall of Fame ankle braces. I have Hall of Fame ankle braces, and he just did that, bro. I, I played in a game where a dude did Space Creator on me all game, and just Hall of Fame ankle braces is trash. Another thing, what I'm saying, he does. I guarantee he doesn't have a Hall of Fame ankle breaker or Hall of Fame space creator, bro. I guarantee. And if he does, that's where 2K has to explain to us, bro. What what determines what badge wins? Hall of Fame ankle braces versus Hall of Fame ankle breaker. Hall of Fame ankle braces versus Hall of Fame. Um, space creator what determines who wins you see he's just throwing the ball for me at ease with his 85 I can't even connect with him with my 85 he better not he better not he better not now he's throwing the ball at will for me name of the game is just run away bro avoid the steal it's not fun and the only people that agree with it and want the steals to be the way that they are are people who don't play offense. People who don't play offense, don't don't dribble, don't have stick skill, they only spot up and, and play defense. Those are the people that want the steals the way that they are. 
Everybody else doesn't. Look at this. Look at this. Hall of Fame ankle braces for what? He didn't even do nothing for me to even deserve to get that, bro. And then clamps, let's talk about clamps, which he's trying to use right now. And I'm only talking like this, y'all, because I'm doing a YouTube video, bro, just explaining this, because it's better to, I'm done talking, talking on stream about the illogicalness of this game and not putting it on YouTube, bro. It's like writing raps and not putting it on wax. That's only one deal, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Sometimes, bro, it seems like, bro, you be trying to go against what I'm saying, bro, sometimes, bro. Is you not watching, bro? He has gotten three ankle breakers already, bro. You know what I'm saying? You moving like KC, bro, speaking before seeing. He has already gotten three ankle breakers on me, bro. What game are you watching? It's like when you speak, bro, it's like you trying to prove you like the best 1v1 player on the planet or something, bro. Like you don't do nothing wrong or something, bro. Like I get what you're saying, bro, but he guys already gotten three ankle break breakers on me, bro. Okay, but I, I, okay, we could always agree to disagree, bro. But at least when you're when you're disagreeing with me, bro, disagree with with facts. Like you just said, he's only you laughed and say he only got one ankle breaker. Like like I'm just complaining and bitching. Nah, he's gotten three, bro. So if I mean if you gonna if you gonna make your two cents on what I'm saying, at, at least pay attention to the gameplay and see that oh he's already gotten three ankle breakers before you comment and say. Ha ha, he's, what do you mean? He's only got one. I missed that. And he got the rebound, even though I was right there in front of him, bro. So what they, what they did on the one, for the one V one court this year, they um they put the rebound in the defensive player's favor, bro. I'm about to lose this game because oh, God, bro. It is what it is. I'm about to post two losses to my YouTube channel, bro. And let other people determine what's up. <laughs> I can't get my energy to it anymore, bro. When I speak, I'm just speaking or for hope of change for the game. I'm not speaking and like just straight complaining, bro. Speaking in frustration as far as like non-logic goes, bro. Like it's proof that shit is illogical, bro. Real shit. Dio, I have two Gatorade bars. Every time he stripped me, bro, I had full stamina damn near, bro. He poked me two times off rip off the inbound, bro. Like, come on, bro. And I'm not saying that like, I can't do it either. What I'm saying is it's, it's, it's unbalanced. I'm not upset about losing, bro. That's what I'm talking about, bro. You think I'm upset about losing? I'm not. I, if, if if shit was the way it's supposed to be, bro, I wouldn't have lost at all. They wouldn't even came nowhere near to a loss, bro. I have all like, come on, bro. It's like you in defense, bro. That's the next thing I'm upgrading, bro.
Why does my fucking Kevin Durant don't feel like Durant? Jimmy Butler's was feeling better than Durant's. Now I got to keep Wall on. I got on Steve Nash, man. I had on Kawhi. I thought I thought I saw it on Kawhi. I got on Steve Nash. There's nothing I want to change, bro. Yeah, I got base motion style. I'm about to go back to elite though, but I like I I thought it was cool. Was good, Jew. Water. Let me get my canteen. <laughs> 